welcome to our video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make custom models for mobs in Minecraft. So let's get started. So now the programs that you will need for this is Minecraft Java Edition. This won't work on Bedrock. You'll need Optifine because that's the only, well, that's the thing that will actually let this texture pack to work. You need block bench, which is a problem that will actually help you with modeling the mob. And you need like a painting program like GIMP or Photoshop are the two like really good ones that should work. And yeah, so if you have like all of those, then we can actually get started with the tutorial. Well, the first thing that we'll actually need to do is we need to go and open escape, then go into options, resource packs and open pack folder. Now that you're in the resource packs folder, you'll need to do a few things. So first, we'll actually need to make a file that is going to be called, well, the name of the file will be the name of your pack. I'm gonna call my file mobs because that's gonna be the name of my pack. Now inside the mobs or whatever your pack name is, you create another file called assets. Then you need to put another thing, a text file called pack.mcmeta, and I'm going to be leaving the code that you need to put inside pack.mcmeta in the description. So yeah, okay, now that you have this, you can also optionally put a third thing into your pack, which is called pack.png. It can be any picture, and that picture will be the like, picture of your pack, instead of it just being a piece of cobblestone, well, when you, like, when you see it in Minecraft. Anyways, we're not going to be doing that right now. Instead, let's make all the files. So inside assets, you need to create a second file called Minecraft. Then inside Minecraft, you need to create two files. One of them is going to be called Optifine. And that's because we're going to be doing some stuff with Optifine in this video. And the second file is going to be called Textures, because that's where our textures will be going. Pretty simple. Inside the textures, we need to create another file that will be called Entity. And uh, because, well, we need to create that file because it's pretty important. And that's where all of our textures for our entities are going to be going. Well, we're going to be creating one. Now, inside the Optifine folder, you need to create one last folder. And that's going to be called CTM. Not CTM, it's going to be CEM. So CEM, and that's going to be the name of your folder. So basically now, let's actually get the textures for... So we can put them in this entity folder and that's going to be the textures of our mob. The mob that I'm going to be doing is a chicken and I'm going to be have it like have a little thing like on its head. Like, you know, the like, well, there's like a little red thing on its head. And to do that, we actually first need to get the normal chicken texture. So go into your dot Minecraft folder, then go into a folder called assets, then go into a folder called Minecraft. Well, again. Then you go into textures, and here's all of the textures in the game, which is pretty insane, actually. Make sure that in these folders you do not change anything, or else that will mean that uh, it kind of might damage uh, like some other stuff. But yeah, so don't change anything here, just like copy them. Then go into another folder called Entity. Then inside this folder, you first need to check the mob that I'm doing is Chicken, which is right here. But if I was doing slime or, for example, I don't know, like cat or actually, I don't know, like any of these other things, like, for example, a pig, a cat, a parrot, cow. So all of those things would be inside. We'll need to make another folder inside our other, well, inside the entities folder in our texture pack. But here, since the chicken is not part of like inside a folder, like all of those are, you can just go and copy it. Then go out of that and go back into your resource packs folder, into your resource pack assets, Minecraft, textures, entity, and paste it. Okay, over there, now we have the texture. And uh, so yeah, now we're actually ready to model our entity. So open up a program that I said we were gonna be using earlier in the video called Blockbench. And we'll need to do a few things before we start in it. Now, this is what you should see once you open it. Well, once you start it. And we'll accept this recent thing because I was may I was like working on a couple of other models. And before you start, you'll need to download one thing inside of Blockbench. 
So you need to go into File, you need to go into Plugins, you need to go into Available, and then look at this thing called the CEM Template Loader and install it. Now this, uh, once you install it, it's going to, if you open up Plugins and click Install, this will be in there. What the CEM Template Loader does is this. Normally when you open up an entity with the Optifine entity, you'll just get a blank interface, like you won't get any other stuff. But when you open it with the CEM template loader, you'll already get a certain mob, and it makes it really easy to model. So now once you have installed it, go into Filter, and there will be a thing called CEM template loader. Then, you need to scroll down here, on, and oh, I am doing the chicken, so I'm clicking on chicken. If you need some other mob, you find it and click it. Also, the heads are also parts of mobs. So if you need to do a certain head, then you can do that, of course. So, okay, uh, that's what you need to do. Then you click Confirm, and you have your mob. This is our mob, and I'm going to explain a few things before you actually start modeling it. There are a few tools that you can use, and uh, so yeah, these are the tools. One of them is called Move. When you click on an item, then you, get, you, then you basically get to move it. The second one is called Resize. You get to resize your mob so we can make a really tall chicken head or something like that. I don't really know. Then we have rotate, which will rotate the mob, but if you look at it right now, we can't really rotate anything because, well, where are the items? The thing you need to do for this is that you need to actually click on the folders or the group and we'll rotate the whole group together. So we can rotate it back and we'll have a really weird back rotating chicken. Now you can do control Z and uh, when you press control Z it will actually return it to the state that it was. And okay, so now we actually, let's model our chicken. Also one thing before we actually do that is there are these folders and inside the folders there will be cubes and cubes are the thing that is making up this mob and folders are the things that are actually storing the cubes. So anyways we have all of these and because I'm going to be making like a little fluff on the chicken's head we are need to go we will need to go into head folder click on this and we will actually you know let's click on there and we need to add a group. So now we have a group called Bone, and I'm going to rename it, and instead of Bone, it's going to be called Fluff, like that, and then we have this folder. Now this folder will actually also close when we close the head folder. Why are we, why am I putting this in the head folder? Well, because there are, if you, for example, their left wing and right wing, they already have animations, so if the chicken is falling down, it will flap its wings. And if I put something in this folder, that will also flap. If I put it outside of the folder, it won't flap. It'll just be generally with the chicken. The head turns, so essentially, if we want the fluff to turn, then we'll need to put it inside the head folder. Now, let's add a cube by pressing this button, and we're going to have a cube. I'm going to rename it to fluff, again, because I don't really have a better name. And we'll have this random cube that is somewhere. Click on move and move it up so that, yeah, that's our cube. Now, the size I'm going to be going for my model is really small. It's going to be, like, really small. So, it's going to be three pixels long and one pixel high. And, okay, so and then we move it and uh, let's put it uh, right above the chicken like that. But there's a problem now. It is off-center. It's not directly above the chicken's, like, head. But there is, but that's actually not really that big of a problem because if you press shift and move it, it will actually move by a quarter of a pixel. And right now, it's centered. Also, you can see here, it's 0 0.5. And it is, well, it's directly like above the chicken's head. So now, uh, we have the correct size in the correct place. Now, let's actually rotate it. Click the rotate button and click on the folder, in, well, the fluff folder. Also, a thing, it won't select the whole head folder, so you don't have to rotate the whole head. This is another bonus that you get by uh, not just putting the... This is the reason, actually, I put the fluff inside a fluff folder, not directly in the head folder. If I put it directly in the head folder, well, it will rotate the whole head. 
and that's not what we want. Well, then I'm going to rotate it a little bit, and uh, I guess that's pretty good. Or no, actually, uh, I'm going to do it like around this way. Then I move it a little bit, and we have this chicken. I'm going to move it like halfway with the shift, and well, a little bit up actually. Also, another thing you can do is press Control, and it'll move it in even smaller areas. Like that. Okay, actually, no. Well, uh, yeah, let's just keep it like this. It looks pretty nice. And we have a chicken. Well, almost. It's not, it's this this way with some weird colors because, well, it doesn't have a textures over here. What we need to do is click Import Texture. Now, this is our chicken texture that we well, got from the, like, official Minecraft textures. And uh, for me, it opened up instantly. But what you actually need to do is go into the .minecraft folder, resource packs, mobs, or whatever your resource pack name is, assets, Minecraft, textures, entity, and your mob. If your mob is in a folder, open up that folder too and find it. Then open it, and this is our chicken. If we click over here, it's gonna like not select anything. And this is our chicken. Now, this looks a little bit weird since, well, it doesn't have a texture. So what we're gonna do is actually add a texture. I'm gonna move it a little bit down under the chicken so it doesn't mess anything up. And well, it's, now if we click off of it, well, it's invisible. So what we're gonna do is click on it, click onto this place with paint, and let's paint it. Before we paint it, we actually don't wanna touch anything else. So I'm gonna close off every other folder by clicking this eye icon that it turns off the visibility of every other block. Now this is the only thing we see and can touch. We also see the head folder, but that's because the fluff is inside the head folder. Now what I'm gonna do is play like, these are some tools on painting. I'm gonna like show, show you how to use them because they're pretty useful. First one is the paintbrush. It lets you paint by one pixel. I'm gonna get a better color like red here. And as you can see, it like paints by one pixel. There's another tool called the paint bucket that paints the whole side at once like this. Now the next texture is going, well, paintbrush is gonna be the eraser and it erases the whole thing. Now we have empty textures everywhere. And the last one's the color picker that if we first paint something like here, there's a color. And uh, well, we take another color and paint over here. Then we can just use the color picker, click on the other color, well, the first one, and we'll have it. So now I'm gonna paint some, uh, I'm gonna paint a little bit on, I'm gonna like paint sides of this also, wait, before I do that, actually, if you look over here on the chicken textures, there's a few pixels. Now, if I make it bigger, then you'll see there are more and more and more texture pixels, pixels, not textures. So there are a few more pixels, and that is the item we need. So I painted it fully red, but we actually would like a bit more colors because it'll like make it easier to represent. So we have orange on one side, yellow on the next side, green on the next side after that. Then we have blue on top and purple on the bottom over there. So now, if you look here, there are a few different textures. The next thing that we'll need to do is right click on the chicken here and press the button save. Now it's saved and let's open up our chicken texture in our drawing program to edit it. Now we are in our drawing program. I am using GIMP because that's the program I'm really used to and I normally use it. Anyways, this is our chicken texture that we are using. No, I didn't want to do that. And I'm gonna get a shade of red that's a little bit darker than these parts and I'm gonna color the chicken. So there are some parts here and I'm actually gonna color them. Now note, if you are doing a texture that requires like different sides like the upper part is different from the bottom part. I highly suggest you figure out which color corresponds to which side and do something about that and like actually like know which direction to go. So uh, then, well, now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna make the our texture. It's gonna be a simple one color texture. And now let's get a little bit of a darker color and add some dots in it. 
like here, like there, there, there. I know this is kind of bad, but like I'm, I'm doing it so like it's not one million years. But okay, so then we take some more and we do some other parts in it. And well, I'm pretty sure our texture is basically ready. So now then you export it back to the chicken and uh, well, let's go back to Blockbench and see how it works. Now we are black back in Blockbench and well, our texture is fully red. And also you see here, our texture changed. Well, our texture is now ready so we can open everything back up again. So click on the closed eyes and open the back up. Then go back to edit and click off of the fluff and this is our chicken. And now everything should work fine, but before you actually export it in as like a text file, click like right click on the chicken and press delete. Why did we do that? Well, we don't need the texture when we export it or else basically what this what will happen? The texture pack won't know that that is the texture it will think it won't know to how to, that you're supposed to like use the game texture instead it wants to use a different texture which is the texture that's like you put the name of in and it doesn't work like that because it doesn't like take any files off of like the other part and basically everything doesn't work then go to well once well, once you want to export it go to file then go into export and export it as an optifine gem now, when you export it, instead of the name model, you, what you need to do is name it the name of your mob. So because mine's a chicken, I'm going to do chicken, like that. And then we export it to the CEM folder, make sure it's like an Optifine gem, and save it. Now our texture pack is ready to use, so let's go into Minecraft and check it out. So now we are back in game, and that means it's time to test out our texture pack. But before we do that, I want to say a big thanks for getting me to 600 subscribers on YouTube. And that's like, thank you so much for that. I barely been really posting and this is actually quite a lot. So hopefully we can get to like, I don't know, some more. And also, if you're new here, please subscribe. I do stuff like this, like resource pack tutorials and also a lot of particle trail stuff. So yeah, but now it's actually time to text test out our texture pack. I keep on getting that wrong, but okay. So let's go into scape, options, resource packs, and we actually see that our pack is over here. And this is what I meant by cobblestone texture. It, there's like, that means there's no pack.png. Well, we click on mobs or your texture pack. You click on that, then turn it on and it'll reload. And now let's get a chicken. And the chicken, okay, let's get a chicken. A chicken, I said. Okay, there. There's a chicken. And now let's just sit out. Make sure you're using Optifine. And, well, with our texture pack, we actually get the red fluff. And when the chicken's head is turning, the red fluff's also turning. And everything is perfect with this. I made a similar pack, and it would, uh, like, a little red fluff was in front. So now it looks weird that it's in the back. And I'm thinking that my pack is not working correctly and broke and everything, but no, it's working. Everything is working fine. We made it to go into the back. Also, a baby chicken will also have the same thing. And for some reason, on baby chickens, the head is big, like as the grown-up chickens, but their body is small, so it makes it look a bit weird. But anyways, that's it for the video. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you didn't watch my previous video, please do that. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.